What is going on? Welcome to episode 107 of the Nintendo PowerCast. I'm your host, N64 Josh, and I don't know, this might kind of turn into an NPC mini. It's been a, it's been a day. Earlier today, we were going to have a party. Vicky Kitty, who was one of the uh, announcers at the Smash Bros. Invitational, was supposed to be on tonight, as well as Eric... And I got texts from both of them saying, uh, I, I can't make it tonight. <laughs> so, uh, Vicky Kitty will be joining me this Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we're doing it a half hour early. She's on the East Coast, and I'm actually, re I'm a guest on another podcast. And plus, I may be doing like four hours of podcasts on Thursday night. So it's going to be, it's going to be pure pandemonium. But, uh. It's exciting. It's exciting. So, sorry if you're here or you were expecting, you saw the tweets. You know what? Life just kind of happens. So, do do forgive me. The music you just heard was from On Being Human. You can check them out on Spotify and YouTube. Remember, this is an unofficial Nintendo podcast. And if you want to get yourself a free book from Audible, you can go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. And there... You can uh, pick from, you know, so many good books. Books I recommend, uh, Console Wars, which is going to be a little relevant to tonight because of something we're going to be talking about. Uh, Ready Player One, which I also saw just, uh, is I think it released digital today. So if you haven't seen that movie yet, I, I would recommend checking that out. I enjoyed it. But that's audibletrial.com slash NPC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OPC. They make incredible gaming chairs. I love this chair. If you go to n64josh.com slash OPC, you will automatically save $10 at checkout. All their chairs are $50 off right now. All their tables are $100 off right now. So go check it out, n64josh.com slash OPC. Let's get to the announcements. Listen. All right, we do the show live, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, twitch.tv slash n64josh. I want to say hello to everybody that's hanging out. Kirby Geek, Yickum, Shoebrew, Plumber, Red Rockford. Nope, Rock Redford. There we go. I was dyslexic there for a second. Uh, Shellshock, Super Nintendad, Hyrulean Julian, uh, Freaking Crud, anybody else that I missed, thank you guys for being here. Leprechaun, thank you guys. Pudding. You guys are the best. I appreciate you guys being here live. You guys make this a ton of fun. Uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? I took some photos this weekend. Because I'm actually going to be displaying my photos in an art walk here locally at a local pub. And if you want to check out some of the, the, the shots I've done, they're of classic like NES, Super Nintendo, and N64 carts. You can check it out at n64josh.com slash photo. If there's any of them that you love, you can order them. And I, I, I recommend, if you, if you do get a print, check them out on Metal. Because they look really cool on metal. That's n64josh.com slash photo. I'm still working on my book. I have started sending rough drafts to people to start uh, start reading them over. So, you know, it's not... I still have a little more to write, but we're we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm, I'm, I'm really pushing to get it done. So, soon. Soon. We got the Smash Bros. cast you can listen to on Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. as And Stitcher. Gamers and Carts Getting Interviewed is happening... Every week, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, twitch.tv slash n64josh. And we're, we're going to be recording episode 5 this coming week. There are four episodes up. If you want to check them out, you can go to my YouTube, look up the, the playlist. You will see Gamers and Carts getting interviewed. And we've had some really great laughs. It has been super awesome getting to know um, people in the community. So go check those out. I've even had some comments that were like, this was strangely fun. Keep doing this, you know? So um, so go go check those out. I'm, I'm, I'm really having a good time with them. Uh, Saturday morning Splatoons, still going strong on that. We'll play, I play Splatoon with viewers Saturday mornings. First Look Fridays. Now, we've been calling it Fridays because that's what I'm doing it, but you know what? We're just going to call it First Look because there may be days that I don't do it on Fridays. So, First Look still happening, though, Friday mornings, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Philippix, Crash Bandicoot, Insane Trilogy, and possibly a couple other games. I'm waiting to see if I hear back from uh, a couple developers. So, uh... 
at, we have at least those two we're looking at this Friday. Again, I mentioned it earlier. Vicky Kitty will be joining me this Thursday, 530 Pacific Standard Time. We'll be doing it live. Okay, let's talk about some reviews and impressions. All right. So this last Friday, for, for first look, we did Miles and Kilo, which was it. it is a indie title. That is almost like a speed running platformer. That'd be the kind of the, the best way I would describe it. And I think that's where miles and kilo comes from. Like they're, uh, you know, like miles per hour and uh, kilometers. So I'm not, I'm not entirely sure on that, but I'm, 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 I'm leaning that way. Very fun uh, indie title. I, I can't, I'm not giving it a review yet because there's an embargo until the fifth when the game launches. But I will say... I recommend it. If you like platformers and you like, look, there's some levels that you actually could play one handed because you're only focusing on jumping, but it's, it's, it's still very, very satisfying making sure that you hit those jumps just perfectly. And there's almost like a rhythm to the game and it's, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. And Kirby is saying, um, wasn't there a deal with kid trip on that? If you bought miles and kilo, and I think she is correct. I will look into that for Thursday's show to find out for sure, but you may get on the eShop and look up kid trip, look up miles and kilo and, uh, see there may be some deal going on if you've already purchased, uh, already purchased uh, kid trip, I believe. So, but th that's not entirely confirmed. I gotta, I gotta confirm that. So. We also looked at Donkey Kong Adventure DLC for Mario Plus Rabbids. V very cool. Had a good time with that. Uh, Minecraft on the Switch. Also a ton of fun. Like I don't, uh, I don't play enough Minecraft, but it is, it is a game I do, I do enjoy. So, um, and Plumber is saying I think um, <laughs> she's always the one correcting me. Yeah. So she's, uh, she's definitely probably right. Uh, the other game I played was Arena of Valor. I was able to get into that beta, and it was my first time playing a MOBA. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm hoping to get a little more hands-on with that game before the beta is up. It may already be up, but um, I'm hoping to play a little bit more and maybe play. I know Nightcrawler was like, hey, let's play uh, Arena of Valor last night, but I was uh, we were getting ready for Splatoon uh, practice, so I wasn't able to, uh, to do that. But if you want to check out all of the videos... Go to my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash n64josh, and you can see uh, the first look for all of those games. Check them out there. And uh, if you enjoy them, leave a comment or something, you know, be, that would be awesome. So let's get to the news. Okay, so... You guys ready to talk about Amiibo? I know everybody loves Amiibo, especially me. Nintendo confirms Amiibo for past characters in the Smash series. So characters like Ice Climbers, Snake, so on and so forth. Pichu, gonna get an Amiibo. Just the Amiibo everybody has always wanted. So that's gonna be a handful of Amiibo. I have, I have seen rumors, so again, grain of salt, rumors that they are working on re-releasing some if not all of the amiibos this so far this has only been in japan that i have seen where this this rumor is coming out of not to uh, not confirming it for the states anything like that not even confirming it for um for japan but i did see some kind of rumblings online so if there's certain ones that you're missing you may have the opportunity to get them again they may be something that you um it may be from like just the Nintendo store, something like that. I don't have all of the details. Again, it was just a quick blurb I saw while I was uh, um, looking, you know, looking through different articles. But we do know for sure they have confirmed that the past characters that have not had Amiibos yet will be getting Amiibos. So you got, you know, they already showed off like the Squid Kids and, uh, or at least the Inkling Girl. I, I cannot remember if they mentioned the inkling boy i don't remember off the top of my head but they showed the inkling girl and they also showed um uh ridley which looked uh, pretty pretty cool so um chat is saying rip josh's wallet yes i do i do collect the amiibo so um 
which I believe there's a few coming out. I think uh, uh, Pearl and Marina Amiibo are coming out on the 13th. So if you're looking for a Splatoon Amiibo, those will be out on the 13th. But yeah, so Ice Climbers, Snake, Pichu, it'll be uh, it'll be cool. Be interesting to see uh, to see some of these uh, some of these characters get uh, get to be Amiibo for the first time. All right, Crash Bandicoot is the fastest selling Switch title this year in the UK, and it was 250 copies shy of outselling the Xbox One. So Crash is extremely popular in the UK. I've never even really played these games. We're going to look at it for the first time on, on Friday. It's down on my mailbox right now. And uh, this, uh, this was crazy news to me. This was crazy that this Crash sold faster than, than Mario Tennis Aces. And... Uh, this is nuts. Kirby, all this stuff. It's the fastest selling Switch title in the UK. Now, what is, why is that? One of the factors is the price point, right? It's thirty nine ninety nine. I'm not sure what that is over there, but it's uh, it's coming in at a, um, you know, at a good price for a lot of content. You get three games, so that's a that's a that's a decent amount of content, and. I don't, I don't really know what else to say. The fact that it was it almost outsold the Xbox One, like, that's that, that's saying something. So, I remember Crash. See, I remember, I remember the commercials back in the day. I don't, don't forget about Crash and his blowhorn and the security guard having to take him off of Nintendo, uh, uh, Nintendo headquarters property because he's out there, you know, showing off 3D graphics and all this newfangled technology, like. Don't don't forget, all right? Don't forget. I did write a post about this that includes that video. If you want to see that, I will include a link in the show notes. You can uh, you can check out the old old commercials from the '90s. They were they were a ton of fun. Um, but I remember as a kid being totally triggered by them. I was like, "Who is this guy? Why don't they just send Mario out to stomp his face?" You know, that's what uh, that's what I was thinking. But no no such luck. Just just security. If you are playing Mario Tennis Aces, if you jump into tournament mode just for a single game, you will unlock Koopa Troopa, who is extremely fast. I played a couple matches against him, and wow, very speedy character. Maybe worth taking some time to learn. And uh, and and we now know that's how that's going to work. Uh, each month, we know there's... I believe there's confirmed five characters, Koopa Troopa, Paratroopa, Blooper, Diddy Kong, and Birdo. Okay, so all you have to do is is play um, each, this is what Kirby says right now, each month, lose a game to get a new character. That's all you got to do. Jump into tournament mode, lose, and you get yourself a new character. So, pretty cool that Nintendo is... Uh, is doing that just giving out free um, free characters I know there's still a lot of people that are hoping to see some some balancing maybe we see some characters uh, maybe we see characters get nerfed or maybe we see some characters get buffed you know I wouldn't mind seeing that either like maybe the maybe the flip side of instead of just nerfing these characters into the ground like hey let's make some of the other characters a little bit better so maybe maybe the matches become a little more intense instead of a little more dumbed down i don't know could be a terrible idea but that's just uh, that's just where my head likes to go if you are playing arms this weekend they're doing a party crash and the the uh the two fighters that are going head to head are min min and kid Cobra. So, if you uh, if you are still still playing Arms or you're thinking about picking it back up and you want to see what uh, one of these party crashes is all about, you can jump in. Um, I believe it starts Friday. I do have a uh, I do have a post up on n64josh.com. You can get all of the details, and I will include a uh, link in the notes for that. Okay, remember earlier this episode when I mentioned Console Wars? Yeah. Well, one of the games that played. Uh, a part in 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 that book and in the console wars was a little a little controversial game called night trap 
And Night Trap is being re-released by Limited Run Games starting this Friday. $29.99 gets you the cart. $69.99 gets you the limited edition that looks like you can shove everything into like a VHS tape or something. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. You can, you can check it out. I will have a link to it. This... This is a very, very interesting game. This is one of the games that's kind of up there with Mortal Kombat. It's one of the one of the reasons we have a a rating system. I remember being a a small child when this game was was being announced and was hitting the market and it was all over the news. You know, you have you have women wearing lingerie getting getting attacked by vampires and it's all like um, it, it looks like you're playing a movie, right? So it was it definitely it definitely got the attention. And uh, um, Kirby is saying first first look Friday game. <laughs> well, hey, who knows? I've never actually played it. It's kind of a cool piece of pop culture history. The case looks a lot like the uh, Sega CD case. And so um kind of interesting i don't think the game like reviewed very well i don't think i don't think there's many people that really that really cared for the game but it was just one of those games that was you know it was controversial and it it uh it like i said it was on the news all kinds of stuff like that limited run games bringing it back you can get night trap now the way these things work is when this when the pre-order goes live it's going to be a window of time that it's open and they take all the pre-orders and then they they shut it down and that's it so if you want to get yourself night trap on the nintendo switch head over to limited run games on friday and you will be able to pick it up if you're playing fortnite playground mode is live and it allows you to jump in with four friends and you can play in the in the playground for up to one hour at a time Right, so there's a timer going on. Once it hits one hour, you you get kicked out and you can jump back in and then go for another hour. You get ten times the material when you uh when you're out farming for materials. So, you know, if you destroyed a chair before and you got seven pieces of wood, you're gonna get seventy this time. Friendly fire is on, so you can practice against friends. You also respawn. So kind of a fun mode that allows you to uh, maybe practice building. Maybe you want to get creative with your friends and, you know, build all kinds of structures, things like that. Really, it's up to you. It's up to your imagination. Have some fun in this. I'm excited to see what the community comes up with. Some of the creations that we're going to see from this are going to be crazy. I, I can't wait to see it. Also, a little more Fortnite news. There is a rocket launch in game, right? And so the... Basically, everybody was like, hey, let's just be chill. Let's be peaceful and watch the rocket launch. And the rocket went up. It looks like it cracked the sky. There's these weird, like, rifts opening up throughout the map. Fortnite kind of has some crazy lore and some crazy things that go on. So if you, you know, if you if you're interested in that game, if you're hyped about that game right now and you want to learn a little more about, like, you know, why is there superheroes and and why is there detectives and all this stuff? There is. uh there's there's lore out there that could be found. So um, you know you gotta do a little googling, but you'll, you'll you'll find it. Well, while everybody was being peaceful watching this rocket launch, some knucklehead shot rockets into the the steps that everybody had made, and was able to get 48 kills, and now holds the kill record for that game. And there, there are a handful of people that aren't aren't too happy about this, but it happened. So you know, shoot a rocket in to the stairs, and uh, while everybody's watching the rocket launch, rack up the kills. You know, rack up the kills. <laughs> Pretty funny. There's lots of videos. I just see. I saw the video where you know the the stairs start to disintegrate and you just see nothing but bodies falling and everybody's trying to build so that they don't fall to the ground. Yeah, it didn't it didn't help. He he racked up 48 kills and now holds the record. So there you go. Nintendo has announced in Japan 
three new 2DS XLs. That's right, three. We already we've seen we've seen that Europe is getting two. Okay, what Europe is getting is the Animal Cross, a new Animal Crossing 2DS. It looks like it's embroidered. It's kind of has some muted colors, and it comes with New Leaf. The one, the uh, other one in Europe is a black and gr lime green Mario Kart 7 bundle. It looks, it looks very much like the uh, original 2DS that um, released here in the states and everywhere. That was black and uh, black and turquoise or black and blue. And now in Japan, they are getting a black and red Mario Kart 7 bundle. So kind of cool we're seeing these different these these different 2ds's with the different trim colors like uh and uh so yeah very 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 interesting the other one that again you know we talked about nintendo and and xbox and minecraft there is a 2ds xl minecraft creeper and to me this thing looks very cool it has some really cool textures from the looks of it, it looks like it feels pretty cool too. Uh, it's just a big creeper head on the back side of uh, the top screen, and so I'm I, you know, it comes bundled with Minecraft on the 2DS. And uh, if you want to see pictures of all these, I do. I will have I will link to them in the notes. You'll you'll be able to check them out. They all look pretty slick in 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 my opinion. So. Two, three new 2DS XLs announced for Japan. We haven't heard anything in uh, for for anything in the states yet. Although this week, the uh, Hyrulean Shield came out. 2DS came bundled with um, Link Between Worlds. My wife got me. My wife and kids got me one for Father's Day. I got it yesterday. I've yet to take it out of the box. I don't know what to do. Part of me wants to, part of me doesn't, but uh, uh, just from the outside of the box and everything it looks slick. And so now I have that with the uh, with the Wedge Zelda 2DS that comes with Ocarina. So they'll both look they'll both look good in the, in in the collection, you know. So um, Kadai is saying, which is super amazing, by the way, very good build quality. So he's happy with it. So that's that's good to hear. I'm curious if. If we are going to get like this Animal Crossing Switch or a 2DS, the uh, the other thing that was announced that I just I just remembered for Europe was a like a white with a lavender trim uh, new 2DS XL that's coming with uh, uh, Tamadachi Life, I believe is the name of that game. So. Around us, getting a lot of new new uh, 2DS XLs. We're we're not seeing or hearing much in the states, but I'm willing to bet that there's going to be um, there's going to be something announced probably in the in the near future here. They they don't seem to be backing down on the uh, the, the handheld market that uh, that the 2DS um, seems to just dominate, and the the thing still sells. And we're still seeing games. We talked about games that were announced for it last week, and so you know it doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be going anywhere. All right. Well, last topic for today. Before I do have a question that's going to be uh, we're going to spend a little bit of time with. We're actually going to talk about some Splatoon two uh, tips and strategies. And this was from a question from somebody in the community. Um, uh, so, but before we get to that, Splatfest, Team Squid versus Team Octopus. Who are you going to pick? Who are you going to pick? Team Squid? Team Octopus? If you pick Team Squid, you are going to be playing as a squid. As an inkling, right? Squid Kid. If you pick Team Octopus, you will play as, uh, as an octopus. Right, Octoling. So, pretty cool. Even if you don't have the DLC, so if you haven't completed the DLC, you will still play as an Octoling if you uh, if you want to. So, my gut feeling is that the popular vote is going to swing 
towards the um, team octopus because there's going to be a lot of people that want to be able to mess around with the uh, with the ability to to you know be an octoling that don't have the opportunity otherwise. So my gut feeling it's going to swing that way. I'm kind of leaning towards uh, towards squid myself. But uh, we'll talk about that more in Discord to decide where, uh, where I end up, just so that we can play games together. You'll be able to pick up your, your Splatfest tee on July 6th and July 20th. And this is a world, this is a global Splatfest, so this is everybody. Team Squid versus Team Octopus. Who are you going to choose? Who are you going to choose? All right, well, hey, let's get into the talking points. Here we go. Okay, well, the question was asked by um Rockin Redford. He, he let's see, Rock Redford, he said how to efficiently customize, you know, what's the what's the most efficient way to customize gear in Splatoon 2? So basically how to get pure gear now this is something that i'm working on constantly and i get mocked for all the time because i am constantly broke <laughs> in splatoon and most of the time i avoid playing private matches and things because i want to continue gaining abilities so that i can scrub my gear earn money and work towards having the pure uh a pure gear set so, I just wanted to find like what is pure gear? It's having all four of the matching abilities. So if you have all, four, if you have a piece of gear that has you know swim speed, and then you have the three ability uh, spots, you know slots filled up with swim speed, that's pure gear. Okay, that's that's what you're looking for. Pure gear. All right, abilities will vary depending on the weapon and game mode that you're playing. So. You know, for instance, I run around with the end zap all the time. I like to be fast, right? Because there's a good chance that I'm going to get splatted often and need to get right back into battle. Okay. So I will use run speed and swim speed. And and currently I'm, I'm running almost two full pure pieces of run speed and one uh, almost pure swim speed. I believe I have two like ink resistant spots taking up, you know, two of those slots because they're not quite pure yet. With different guns, it's going to change. You're going to have, you may have a gun that you're using that burns through ink very fast. So you're going to want to have, you're going to want to have gear that uses ink saber, right? And if you, if you're curious about what gear to use for what game mode, um, my friend Ninja Yoshi 13, who is rank X in every, uh, in, in, in all the ranks in Splatoon 2, him and I sat down and we have videos on YouTube that go through each game mode, two weapons to use, the abilities to use, and and how to, you know, and some strategies on taking on each of those modes. So that's that's been very helpful for me, jumping into the different modes and knowing that, hey, I'm going to use, you know, a lot of times with tower control, I've been starting, I've started using the Clash Blaster. Well, that thing burns through the ink. So one of the things I'm going to be doing is working on pure gear that is the ink saver so that I can, you know, have more shots before I've got to get back into the ink. All right. So your, your, your abilities that you want on your gear will depend on the weapon and the game mode. And so what that means for me is that, you know what? I'm going to just focus on like, if I have a piece of gear that maybe has something that, you know, ability that I don't really need for the current setup I'm using, but if it's getting close to being pure, I'm going to just, I'm going to let that stay the way it is so that, you know, if I get to a mode or a weapon that's going to need that, I already have it. Uh, I already have it stocked up. So I get made fun of, I don't have the biggest closet. I don't have the most weapons in the game because I wasn't I wasn't sure how to do this when I first started playing. I didn't know what how these abilities worked. I sat with the same gear. I liked the way it looked and wasn't adding any abilities to anything. So so the amount of gear, the amount of abilities, that kind of stuff, I'm way behind the curve. But I've since learned and I'm I'm trying to remedy that, but I do get mocked on the regular for having such a small uh, closet. So 
there we go. When you are going for a um, specific ability, you want to make sure that you are wearing a brand of clothing that has a greater chance of obtaining uh, the ability every time it levels up. Okay, you depending on the uh, the ability you're going for. So off the top of my head, I believe that the Crack On brand, if you if you are using if you have a shirt. That's crack on brand. You have a greater chance of getting swim speed, right? So that may mean that shirt may have like, you know, super saver or something. And so that, uh, uh, that, that may not be what you're wanting to get. But if you wear that shirt because you're trying to get swim speed, you just keep leveling that shirt up and then you can scrub it and get those chunks. So it's, it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's going to help you in the long run. So you want to learn and I'll have a, I'll include either a link or a chart in these notes that will, that will show you what brand to wear for which ability you want. Okay. Next thing here, play salmon run right? To earn meal tickets and to help you earn cash and experience faster. You will also unlock, you'll have the chance to unlock tickets that have abilities on them as well, right? So if you're going for swim speed, you may open up one of your bonuses that gives you three, you know, three uh, swim speed uh, abilities. So it's again, very helpful. So this is something I don't play enough salmon run. I need to play it more because you can eat these meal tickets, you earn cash much quicker, you, you earn experience quicker, and you're gonna get, uh, you know, have the ability to scrub that gear, because it's not cheap. It is not cheap, all right? So, next thing is participate in Splatfest and rank up to king or queen. That's how you get the max number of snails, right? Also keep in mind, when you're wearing the Splatfest tee, you can't take it off during during Splatfest, it's only 2,000 in-game currency to scrub versus everything else, that's 20,000. Okay, it's 20,000 to scrub just your regular gear. So keep that in mind. It may not be the brand you want, but you can take uh, those snails. That's the next point here. You take the snails and you can actually re-roll the, uh, the abilities and then hopefully get something, maybe get two of the ability you're looking for, and then you can scrub it for, for 2000, right? It's not always the case. The brand of shirt is not always going to be what you're looking for, but rule of thumb for me is if I'm going for, uh, if I can't get the exact ability I want, I'm going to at least try to get two of, of one that I know I'll use down the road, right? So use those snails to reroll. You can also use the snails to add ability slots. So if you have a pair of shoes or a coat that you'd like, but it only has um, one ability slot. You can use the snails to add more to that. A lot of this stuff is very basic, and I, I totally get that some of you guys are like, why are you even talking about this? But I have seen a number of questions come up in the Discord, and so I kind of want to just get some of these basic things out because I didn't know this stuff, and because of it, I wasted a lot of time. So this will hopefully help some people level up quicker, get the gear that they want, and... Uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully have a little more, a little more fun. Okay. Be sure to scrub your gear. Once all the slots are full, right? Once you fill up, go scrub. When you're playing Splatfest, your, your shirt is full, go scrub. Because every time you, every time you play another match, you're leaving experience behind that, you know, could help you, you know, be leveling up towards that next, uh, that next ability. So make sure you're scrubbing or re-rolling to get what you want and then scrub. Or in my case, a lot of times, I'll, a lot of times I'll do because it's so expensive and I don't have a ton of cash. I will just switch to another piece of gear and level that up. So I don't have to leave the game and go scrub. You don't have that option during Splatfest. Scrub that tea as often as you can. You will need a total of 60 ability chunks to make a pure set. So let's say you have a you have a hat that has swim speed and you want to have three more swim speeds. If if you can't get it to uh, to unlock by rolling or whatever any swim speeds, you are going to have to add 60 ability chunks, right? So the way this works, every time you scrub, you get one or maybe two if you have two of them on that outfit or that that piece of gear so this takes some time 
this takes some time. You're going to be in this for the long haul. If you don't care that much about having the perfect set, let's say you have, let's say you have glasses that you like, you have a jacket that you like, and you have shoes that you like, and it it's run speed, run speed, and swim speed. Well, you could put a swim speed on each of them. That would be 10. And then maybe another swim speed, that would only be 20. You know, you can, you can mix things up so that you don't have to spend the, the total number. Uh, it doesn't have to be uh, 60 total if you don't care about it being pure. But if you are going for pure, it is going to cost you 60. So the first one's 10, second one's 20, third one is 30. That's where you get the total 60. And uh, it just takes time. It just takes time. So be patient. You'll get there. I promise. I promise. Okay. If you fill all three slots, this is this is very basic, but I was getting to the point that I did not realize if if I filled up all three spots, I thought I had to scrub or re-roll and that I wouldn't have the opportunity or the, the ability to add abilities to that piece of gear. Well, it's not the case. If you fill up a piece of gear and it gets two of the items that are and you're just one away from being pure, you can still have something in that third slot. It's just when you get the 30 chunks that you need, you can then complete that gear set and make it pure. So it doesn't matter if you fill it up. You don't have to scrub it. You don't have to re-roll it. Just let it be full and add that last ability as your chunks come in. So there you go. I hope that helps. Thank you for the question. I, I love Splatoon. I just got used to motion controls and I recommend you guys do the same. Splatoon's a ton of fun. Remember to get that Splatfest tee and, pl and participate in this global Splatfest coming up. It's, it's, it's going to be a blast. So that, uh, that is going to do it for this show. Guys, I want to thank you so much for listening. Thank you for, uh, tuning in live and uh you guys are the best you guys can follow me on twitter at n64josh you guys can follow eric on twitter at hate zero you can follow this podcast at at n powercast all right show notes are going to be found at n64josh.com slash npc 107 okay you can email the npc uh by going to end by emailing npc at n64josh.com remember audibletrial.com slash npc gets you a free book of your choice the chair i'm sitting in is from op seat n64josh.com slash op seat that link will automatically save you ten dollars i do want to mention too if you are a content creator go through that link n64josh.com slash uh op seat okay and you can sign up to be an affiliate. If you if you create content and you're looking for um, a sponsor that you can uh, um, that you can you can trust and they have a product you believe in, check it out. They may be a good fit for you. Let them know I sent you. I really appreciate that. But uh, yeah, if if you if you are if you're a podcaster, YouTuber, streamer, maybe they're a good fit. So check them out. Go to n64josh.com slash o. Guys, I do have a Patreon where you can get an extra podcast each month by going to patreon.com slash n64josh. Remember to join the Discord. Come hang out. We have, a, we have great conversation in there. We love talking Nintendo video games. Today was full of golf and puns. You know, you just, you never really know what you're going to find. Sometimes it gets, sometimes it gets real in there. You know, sometimes it's, uh, it's, uh, it's just us hanging out, talking about life, you know? So so come on in. It's a safe place to talk. N64josh.com slash Discord. Guys, I can't thank you enough for all of the reviews on iTunes. We are so close. We are so close to being a five-star podcast. And it is uh, it's because of you guys. It is because of you guys. I know we had a few people that gave us bad ratings, but you guys are slowly getting us back up to the... Uh, that that five star mark and i appreciate it all the kind words everything you guys have been writing down thank you so much for that it is it is awesome and if you have a second rate and review on itunes i would really 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 appreciate it guys tomorrow if you're listening to this tomorrow be safe it's fourth of july right if you're in the states be safe out there 
And uh, we'll see you guys on Thursday with Vicky Kitty. Later.